we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. Hey, it's been a little while since we gave you a bit of a life update and we've had a heap of new subscribers as well. So hello to you if you are new. You can watch some of our past episodes to find out a little bit more about us. But here's some update of some things that's been happening in our lives. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that I'm sure most of you, if you've been following our journey, are aware of um, we, well, I uh, wrote a book called The Local Immigrant, which is, I guess, just tracking my story of um, being born here and then returning as ex expats, officially, or immigrants, and, um, and finding out that this is home. And amazingly, uh, which is kind of crazy, is that it's been sat on the bestseller shelf at Kino Kunia for like 12, so 13 weeks. <laughs> for such a long time and so it means that people are still buying it and reading it so I'm thrilled uh, we keep hearing from people um, who are really really enjoying the book and um, so thank you very very much um, it's a little bit weird to process isn't it sometimes <laughs> the first that I'm an author um, which sounds a bit posh um, but <laughs> and very distinguished uh, but um, that you're actually reading my book so I'm really really grateful Thank you so much. Please keep the feedback coming through. Yeah. Um, I've had a couple of little projects going on. I've actually started another book, but we'll tell you about that another time. Um, but one of the other things that I've been doing is recording a load of music. Um, I'm a musician. It's uh, probably my one of my first passions, I guess, that and sport. But um, yeah, so over the last uh, five or six years, I'd written a series of songs. Uh, that we were desperate to have out, but I just, through life and Kevin kids and work and COVID and moving across the world, um, I never really got into a studio or managed to get anything recorded properly, but uh, I kind of like decided that I was just going to get it done um, and wrote another song that I felt was uh, really, really completed it as an album. And we finally got it out. Uh, and it came out like two weeks ago. Loads of people listened to it. Again, wonderful feedback. Um, I did play all of the instruments on there. If that's something that might make you interested in checking it out, <laughs> please do. It's on Spotify and Apple Music and all the different places where you might get music from. Uh, you just need to search my name, John T. Tan. Um, the album's called Looking for Love. Uh, you can hear it in the background now. Um, and I hope you really, really enjoy that too. So those are kind of two big updates for me. Um, over to... Miss Working Millie. Yeah, I've been working full time um, in a school recently, the school that the kids go to actually and that Jonty's at, so we're all there during the day, though our paths don't often cross. Um, so I've been working in grade two, which I love. I'm really passionate about working with kids. Um, I've loved it, but I have felt quite tired trying to do YouTube and working in a school. Um, but I'm going to be having a little bit of a break from the school because my mum's coming to visit. Tomorrow. Which I'm very excited about. It's been two years, three months, and I don't know how many days, but oh, since goodness. we last saw her. So very excited about that and to, I guess, be tourists again in Singapore. Because yeah. I kind of feel like we've done all the big tourist things. Um, we haven't done it for a little while. We've kind of moved to like local areas. So it's going to be nice to go around with somebody that hasn't seen it before. And just yeah. to see it through her eyes I think what's well. great for Millie's mum as well is that she's been watching like avidly every <laughs> single episode and she's lived yeah. it all through uh, the screen and she's going to be able to see it uh, and experience this amazing country um, first hand and I'm really really excited for that obviously being proudly from Singapore I can't wait for her to see uh, what we love about living here. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be fun. My sister's also arriving as well. We're going to have a full house. Um, she hasn't seen my mum for maybe five years. Maybe five years, yeah. Yeah, so lots of good catch-ups, lots of girly laughter. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be working a lot over the next <laughs> few weeks, I think. Late nights at work, get home and go to the gym. We're going to be, well, I have to go to the gym because if we're taking my mum to all the food, we're going to end up eating oh, yeah. twice as much as we normally do as well. But we're looking forward to it. It's going to be fun to have a household of family. One of the things that this channel seems to have done is given us, I guess, a bit of profile and people will get in touch with us and ask us to do stuff. And um, the Science Centre that seem to really love us at the moment yeah, and keep inviting us to different things to go and check out. But I got invited to a charity event the other night at the Fullerton Hotel, which mm. firstly was pretty fancy. <laughs> but the fact that I came away not talking about the place all the food was really, really telling about the charity. The charity is called Care for Children. And um, it really, really struck a chord with my heart. I wrote a blog, a blog all about it on my website, jontytan.com. And um, please go and read it. Please go and see some of the other stuff on there. I think I've got some interesting thoughts on there, especially those of you who like my writing. 
Um, I hope that you can connect with it and engage with it and hopefully for me it just um, highlights the amazing work of Care for Children. I'm also going to start vlogging some slightly more in-depth things on our uh, on my own channel, the channel where you can get all of my music as well. Um, just because we don't want to clog this wanderlust thing with some of the um, emotional inner turmoil yeah, of John T. Tan. Different style, emotional <laughs> turmoil. <laughs> He's a crier, so you might want to have some tissues ready if you're watching the channel. But yeah, it's, it's something different. Mm. Yeah, and I think yeah, Wonderlust has got such a purpose. Like we love seeing the wonder in the world. We love sharing that with you. Whether we're in Bali, Millie went to Bali on her own without the family the other week. If you haven't seen that vlog, you should check exactly. it out. Um, whether <laughs> it's Bali, whether it's like we did a little bit of Asia this summer, which was really really nice, um, or whether it's just our everyday life and the amazing things that this country has to offer, still blows my mind that Singaporeans think there's nothing to see here and that it's boring. Um, guys, <laughs> sort it out, please. Like, this place is amazing. I feel very privileged to come home having lived away for so long. Maybe try this lens. I hope you don't mind me saying. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and the, the other channel, I'm going to be discussing things a little bit more in depth. Um, I've been working in my school with uh, DEIJ, Div Diversity, Equity, Inclusion and Justice. And I'll be talking a little bit about those different things and the things that get my heart going and the things that get me frustrated sometimes too so i'll be vlogging a bit more on there so i'd love it if you join me over there love it if you subscribe um we've kind of got a mini youtube empire going because <laughs> the kids our kids have a youtube channel um i think there's a couple of things from singapore there's some really funny videos of them when they were little which are quite cute you can check out but aspen's really got into doing her own vlogs lately, which is quite cute. Mina mm. seems to take more of the director role, like yeah. filming, and she's kind of there with the, hey guys, so this is my dinner, and her American <laughs> accent comes out. She watches Barbie, who's now a vlogger, if yeah, you didn't know Barbie's that. a vlogger. An American vlogger. And her so, mum's a vlogger, so. So she's really into it. So they're gonna be doing a few more little things on their channel as well. Yeah, I mean, their, <laughs> their first video of their solo video, doing uh, a Mukata place near our house, uh, they loved and it hit over a thousand views. People are loving it. But we hope you enjoy it. Go check it out. The link is just below. The link is also in the description here. Milo and Aspen, um, they've got a new vlog coming out either already or in the next day or two on a big cycle ride that they did um, just the other day. So it's pretty cool. We're approaching 7,000 subs, which sounds insane. Like my heart still skips a beat when I'm like, oh, someone subscribed, like they like our channel. Like, it still seems a bit bonkers to me and we love it when people introduce themselves when we're out. Mm. It's just, it's quite surreal, but it's just, it's nice to know that you're enjoying what we're doing and we do appreciate all of the comments and we do reply to every single one of them. So do let us know some places Even ones to go. in other languages. Yeah, Google Translate, it's helpful. I am learning Mandarin, but I'm, my reading is terrible. So I do use Google Translate. So if I've replied in Mandarin, it's, it's Google Translate. So. Oh, is it? I thought you were doing that yourself. No, Less no, 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 <laughs> definitely not. But, the stuff um, that we replied in Khmer was definitely that was Google Translate. Google Translate. I just hope it's translating it correctly because a few people have told us that if you've got the captions on. Oh yeah, there's some very dodgy what we're that saying <laughs> isn't isn't coming up correctly on the caption so maybe if it seems a bit obscure that's not what we're saying yeah like, no turn on the volume and just check turn it on the yourself. volume and just check <laughs> we would love to get to 10,000 subs in the not too distant future i think mainly one of the reasons i love doing youtube is connecting people we've mm. got a few close friends that have come out of meeting them through youtube which is awesome and just hearing people that have been watching our channel because they're coming here on holiday and now they're going to explore things they've sent us photos of they have gone to visit places yeah, that we've really recommended. Cool. And it's just really nice seeing other people enjoying Singapore and helping people relocate here to kind of think, oh, I know this place, I recognize it. That's, yeah, that's been one of my favorite things. Right. So I'd like to reach more people. The thing that gets me going is that when um, people let us know that they love our like life ethos of just mm. trying to enjoy everything and take everything in and, and love everything that we get to see. And um, I hope that that's the bit that we're spreading as well. Um, it's just a bit of a mindset to love life. So yeah, while we're trying to build the channel, we do need your tips. So you. please let us know whether you'd like to hear more from us just chatting um, and our opinions and our thoughts or whether you want to see us try loads more food. I think... This is going to be controversial if you're going to I say what I think you're going to say. I've found the tastiest chakwe tiao on the island. 
Now I'm gonna do an episode of this coming up soon. I'm gonna hopefully include my cousin Jeremy, who many of you know um, is a wonderful chef here in Singapore, well-known and well-respected chef, so hopefully his opinion counts as something. And a few local friends who, you know the local friends who think they know where the Everybody's best everything is. Favorite. So I'm gonna ask them to come and join me. I'm gonna to go to their favorite places and then we're gonna wrap up at my favorite place. And I hope I've found a gem that I can share with everybody. That will make me very, very happy. So as I said, my mum is arriving and it has been a long awaited time for hugs and to see the jewel because she hasn't seen that either. I thought so. you were going to say see the kids. She hasn't seen the kids. She hasn't seen the kids. Since they were really little. <laughs> Milo was still no. six and Aspen was still four. No, no, she would no, have just turned five. five. Just five. Uh, Milo was still six, nearly seven and Aspen yeah. was five. But now they're nine and seven. Yeah, so. so get the tissues ready. Here's their reunion. <laughs> Okay, let's go. We're going to see Nanny. Let's go. So on the tracking um, app that I was using said that she still had 19 minutes left and then I went to check on the screen and it said the flight has landed. So we didn't really have very long to wait. Obviously she's got to get through customs and all of that stuff, but yeah, maybe here. I see Nanny. <laughs> we saw Nanny. She's been waiting not so patiently for a half an hour. Not bad. Pretty quick through. So Mum's just gone to get her stuff, and then she'll be here. She's coming, Aspen. She's coming. I'm coming. You have to wait. Is <laughs> So lovely to see Aston and my mum back together again. As always, the jewel is a beautiful and mum and Aston have gone for a little walk around the outside of it now. Jonty and Milo are on their way and then we will go and get some food and more and more hugs for Milo, I'm sure. Let's see if you can spot her. They're looking for Nanny. And how do we, how can we spot her? Uh, we need to look with our eyes. With your eyes? Well, how... Sign over there, I should get a t shirt of that. Thank you. So, we hope you enjoyed that. We don't know yet because it hasn't happened for us at this present moment in time. Uh, but, uh, what? yeah, because we are on Monday and your mum's arriving on Tuesday. So we hope you enjoy it. We don't know whether we've enjoyed it yet. It's happening tomorrow. I've hated the jewel. She might have thought it was nasty. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I think, um, you know, I hope you enjoy the, the, the next few videos. They're gonna be showing very much also the new perspectives of my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law as they see other places in Singapore as yeah. well. Um, and, um, and hopefully you do join us on the other channels with Milo and Aspen on Jonty Tan. Um, and we really, really hope um, to see much more of you and um, to hear much more from you too in the not too distant future. As always, we are so grateful. We look forward to hearing from you soon with your recommendations, places to go, more food to eat, maybe your favourite Chaco Chiao as well. So thank you for watching. <laughs> we love your support. Bye. Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye.